I've always liked step sequencers and and that kind of sort hardware sequencers, but the TB3 is like since it's like a like the son of a 303, mm -hmm. we always loved the way the sequencer worked on a 303, mm -hmm. believe it or not. Mm -hmm. Where the TB303 excelled was in, in its simplicity mm -hmm. of sequencing. Right. Totally insp ins insp inspiration. Mm -hmm. This is one of, the, if, if you ask me, this is one of, the strong ones, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because it's a silent one. It's the one nobody expects. Right. But this, for making records, is incredible. Yeah, it's nice to sit here and write chord progressions. I'll be the first to tell you, I love to write songs mm -hmm. and write chord progressions and melodies and, and, and stuff like that. But sometimes you just want to bash your buttons because and in, in the beginning of all this, before we knew really knew what we were doing mm -hmm. as musicians, sometimes it was just fun to bang around. That's right. So simple. We would do that. Mm -hmm. And what I would use this TB3 now is to uh, trigger and my all my external hardware since uh, let's say for instance like this Pro One. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, to tell you the truth, most of the people who did these house and acid records just press buttons and, and and just hit the slide button every now and then, and boom. And there wasn't really any kind of sequencer out there that's similar to it. There's nothing like a 303 sequencer. And just do. Just do like old school, like, mm -hmm. and just start putting it together. Wow. No, it's not complicated. Hit buttons, mash them, and see what pops up. Right. Sometimes that's what you just need. This gives you that spark and creativity again. It, it makes me feel like I'm 15, you know, mm. like I'm a young kid again. And every time I hit notes to make a pattern, it's an oh wow moment. Mm. I don't have to think too much. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when, when you're just having one of those blah days, that does it. Right. Because not only can you, like, you hook up an external synth to it, but you can run the sequencer through whatever like machine, machina or through whatever drum machine of your choice or whatever drum sampler of your yeah. choice or for that matter any software plugin you yeah. know see so it also triggers drums wow Would not do, mm. and so you, then you just you know we bounce them. That's it. And that's the little trick, and that's you know because you're gonna, you're gonna get patterns out of this thing and drum patterns out of this thing that you normally would never do on your own. There's just no way you can you would even have thought of that. Right. So you just randomly just hit the things and then just let it rip through your software instrument. Wow. Yeah. That's great already. This is a... That's how I use it. Wow. That's a song already. Yeah, it's like boom, 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 boom.